paramedics Peter Cadigan and Peggy Finley now behind bars facing first degree murder charges after prosecutors allege the care they provided a patient may have killed him. Sit up now. I am not playing with you guys. Get up on your own butt. The state attorney in Springfield, Illinois, finding 35-year-old Earl Moore Jr.'s death a homicide. Hey, Earl, this is getting a little silly, man. The autopsy found Moore died from asphyxia, directly linked to the face-down position Cadigan and Finley put him in on the stretcher. Police body cam footage from the December incident appears to show Cadigan placing Moore face down in the gurney. Finley restrains him, seeming to tighten the straps across his back. Police officers who were first to arrive on the scene believed Moore was suffering from the hallucinations due to alcohol withdrawal and called for EMTs, but when they arrived, they spoke very aggressively to Moore and initially refused to move him. I am seriously not a for this stuff. This situation is just the height of egregiousness, and not by just ordinary individuals who are rendering care. They were EMS. They're the individuals that we call when we are in a dire situation and need of medical care. Moore's obituary shows he was a son, brother, and grandson. Earl was the manager at McDonald's for 18 years. He loved helping whoever he could, saying he made sure to come to all family events and was a real sweetheart. And Lindsay, Lifestar Ambulance Service, where Finley and Cadigan worked, had no comment on their arrest. They're both facing up to 60 years behind bars if convicted. Lindsay? And thank you. We turn now to this.